So Corbett Blogger, we're talking with uh, Steve Wazolowski and uh, from Cosworth, and he's going to explain to us the toolbox yep. uh, that owners will be able to download once they get a 2015 Corvette with the uh, performance data recorder. That's correct, yeah. So the, as part of the package, obviously you have the tools in the car, the, the camera with the microphone and the, and the recorder, and now you need to know what to do with that, with that SD card. You've recorded all this, and it's cool to go watch the video, mm -hmm. but and, and there's other ways to make you a better driver. So one of the things we've done is taken a lot of that racing data acquisition and analysis tool and put it in the consumer's hands. So you pop your, your, your SD card in, read the files, and, and it pops up into this, this toolbox. And you can start right away. And I think the, you know, the first thing that's really cool, you can compare laps. You can compare your own laps. Mm -hmm. You can compare against somebody else. It doesn't have to be recorded from the same car. So you can re re compare against any number of laps. And if you play the video, it compares those videos side by side. And one of the, the neat things about that then is you can synchronize it by distance. So it'll be the same point on the track. And you can see, oh, well, he was wider on the apex than, than the other guy. So mm -hmm. you can see what you did differently and, and why your lap times were affected differently during those different corners. You can also look and look at data. When you get a little more advanced, you start looking at what are your hands and feet doing? That's really what the amateur driver needs to focus most on to make him a better driver and go faster. Accelerator, brake, and steering angle. Too much steering input, you're gonna be you know, oversteering and overworking the car. You know, were you hard on the brakes early and get off them? Or were you just kind of trail braking through and different driving styles and, and each one can be a little bit faster. So understanding how that affects your lap time is a little more advanced as well. So if you, if you start with video, one of the other really handy pages for someone who's running track days, you look at the statistics page and it'll show you every lap, what you did for lap time, average speed, max speed, max lateral Gs, how much time were you on the accelerator and on the brakes, what's your consistency over that long run. So if you ran 20 laps, you wanna see were you running consistent or were your lap times all over the place? And you can, you can start to understand how you can improve and did your lap times come down throughout the run. A lot of neat features that you can look at on this page as well. Can you um, record laps like throughout the day? Like so let's say I like yeah. two or three different driving sessions so I can get all the laps from the first lap, second one, third one. Absolutely. And then compare them? Absolutely. It will, uh, it will allow you to go back and you can select your outings and each outing sets a, a new recording. Mm -hmm. So if you ran in the morning, you can look at that, you can compare it against itself, or you can then pull up the next outing, which was in the afternoon, for example, and you can compare morning versus afternoon, what you were doing differently. Uh, maybe after a little bit of instruction, how did you drive it differently, those type of things. And you can absolutely pull up, you know, any two, two outings at a time. Mm -hmm. um, this one, we actually put media journalists in the car and compared them against the laps that Tommy Milner did at Sebring. So it's kind of fun for them to see how close can I get to Tommy's right. laps. So a lot of fun things can happen as well. And you know, you could put your instructor in the car, let him run an outing for you and go back and compare your laps to him and look at the video. Well, how did he do that turn seven? What did he do there? Mm -hmm. um, and again, how close can I get to his lap times? They're always fun things to do. One of the other cool features too, you can break it down by corner. Um, on the tablet, you know, it's a Bing map. So if you've got Wi-Fi connection, it takes you to the map of the track with a satellite image and overlays your GPS trace onto that track map. Mm -hmm. it, you don't have to have a, a library of tracks built in. You could do this in a parking lot. If you set up cones and wanted to go run laps in the parking lot, it'll create the map of what you ran mm -hmm. because it's using GPS to generate that map. You, you can look at this. You can look at it with a video at each corner play the video and you can watch the cars start to uh, start to chase each other around here. Uh, you can see where you gained and lost time relative to the other guy. Um, you know, what, what happened, you're watching speed, RPM, gears, a little bit of what were you doing differently? How much more steering did you put into that particular point? If you pause the video, you can see it, you know, the, the guy in the blue car had, had turned 14 degrees one way and the other guy was four degrees the other direction, you know, a little bit overcorrect and what was happening at that precise moment on the track. How close were they? And it'll snap. The video will snap. The the uh, you can move the cursor to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Looking at each individual corner, um, you can zoom in and look. Did I run a different line in that corner? How much how much different? How much tighter the apex was I in those corners? And break it down corner by corner as well. How, how accurate is the line based on GPS? The the GPS is plus or minus uh, a meter. 
laterally. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty accurate and it's recording at five times a second. So five Hertz video or uh, GPS where your nav system is one Hertz. So you know it's in your navigation system. Sometimes you, it'll tell you turn in a quarter mile and it actually was only maybe one tenth of a mile because it's, it's got to catch up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you're at your destination when you can see your destination out ahead. Well, this is recording five times as fast. So it's actually uh, parsing that data and gives you a more accurate map and it allows you to be uh, a lot closer when you build this track map and to understand where you're at. Right, okay. So, you know, a lot of different ways to look at it. Um, the, the neat thing with video and audio and the, the, the data, they're all synchronized together. So anytime I move from one position to another on the, whether I'm looking at the corners or if I want to drag the video to a different point, the, tr the map moves to that point on the track as well. So they, they stay synchronized and they stay synchronized across the different pages. Wow. So if I, I can keep the video running and look at different things and it'll stay synchronized across those different pages. And again, if I'm, if I'm running here, I can, I can drag the, the chart back to look at a specific area. Mm -hmm. what, what really happened? Why was I different on the brakes than, than the other guy? What, why was I so late getting back on the throttle? Could have been traffic, could have been just not as aggressive as the other guy, but you can point into each of those different areas and understand where that was. You can look and see, was it traffic? It's a great opportunity with the video right in front of you. You can see, oh, I was behind another car. That's why mm -hmm. I lost so much time there. And just understanding all those things through the tool. So as you look at this chart, as you become accustomed to looking at it, right. you can see you know, the, the different points of the, on the video where you can say, okay, maybe my angle is off yeah, or absolutely. the throttle. Absolutely. For example, this middle line, the blue is, is one of the journalists and the orange is Tommy's time. So you can see as a professional driver, the peaks of Tommy's brake pressure are way higher. He's way more aggressive on the brakes and earlier and then gets off the brakes. So using the brakes a lot more to slow the car mm -hmm. and that allows him to go deeper into corners as well. So he's going farther before he hits the brakes and then he's on them really hard and then he's just off the brakes. So that difference in the shape of the, of the, the braking trace really shows you something as you get more mm -hmm. in tune with how to use the tool. Um, again, you know, you can see um, a lot of activity. It looks like, uh, you know, they got a little bit loose in that corner. So he had to fight, to fight the steering a little bit, going mm -hmm. through the bumps, etc. Uh, a lot more things that can, can be happening. And once you get more advanced, get used to using the tool and how to improve your lap times, the charts really come into play. Right. Now, I, I see this is a Windows tablet. Right. Um, what are the uh, platforms that's gonna be available? Right now, it's, it's, it's Windows only, but we absolutely, absolutely understand the, the, the prevalence of the, the Apple operating system, and we're working toward you know, um, having a release in the future here that will operate on a, on a Mac or on your iPad as well, so right. we understand that. And, and this also works on a, just a regular Windows desktop? Yeah, yeah. any, any Windows-based program up to and including this is uh, you know, the latest and greatest on the, on the Windows Surface tablets. The, the operating system on here it certainly works across all those platforms. Okay. And it's a free download? Yep, so once you've selected the PDR option for your car, mm -hmm. um, Chevrolet will provide you a link to a Cosworth website where we're gonna host the software and we will put updates on there and anytime you wanna know, you can always go to, back to the homepage, check updates and you can, if you're on the Wi-Fi, you can check for updates to make sure you've got the latest build. Okay. So uh, you can always check that and we'll continue to, to update if there's bug fixes and uh, those type of things as normal software developers have to go through. Mm -hmm. We'll keep providing updates on our website, um, provide kind of tutorial. We're gonna put some videos up and kind of, kind of teach you how to use the tool. Okay. Um, start with the basics and then as we talked about with some of the charts, as you become more advanced, how does this really make me a better driver? What should I be looking for? What characteristics of these different charts will help me improve my lap time or improve my, my enjoyment of the car as mm -hmm. well? Okay, fantastic. And uh, it comes out 2015? Yep, available to start of production for the 2015 Stingray, and uh, it's available across all, all four, if you will, the, uh, the right. coupe convertible and the Z06 coupe and convertible as well. So it's available as an option on, all, on every version of the 2015 Corvette. Okay, fantastic. A lot of questions. So all right, good. I definitely appreciate the, Absolutely. Uh, the, the test drive through there. And, no, I appreciate it, yeah. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what people are gonna do with this. I tell people that YouTube will never be the same. That's, that's just it, you know, because it's a, it's a, the format is an MP4 file, so you can, if any video editor, if you're familiar with editing videos, mm -hmm. you can just take the video 
and uh, you know go into playback mode and just edit that in in your Windows Media Player. Right. So the key, you know, I always I always joke you can you can take that 20 seconds where you pass that that Viper on the track or pass oh, that Porsche on the track, and that's what you want to post on on YouTube or up on Facebook for all your friends to enjoy, right? Right. Uh, you know, or you can take hey uh, the uh, you know we took a scenic drive down uh, the California coast or uh -huh. went down tail of the dragon. This section was really exciting. Edit that video down and you can share that with your friends as well online. Yeah, and I also see it like, the, just like you said with the, the driver training. Yeah. Um, you get Tommy, so you have him do a couple laps around some of these tracks right. and then you'd be able to analyze it, say, okay, I'm going to Sebring next week. Right. Let me see how Tommy kind of worked it, you know. And, yeah, absolutely. And, and We've talked to a, a few people, you know, with the uh, with the launch of the PDR we did with the media at uh, before the CES show, we were out at Spring Mountain, mm -hmm. and the instructors there were really enthused because they, they could see the progression, you know. They could do a lap in, in the in this driver's seat and, and narrate, okay, here's what you want to be doing. You're going to break at the 200, you're going to be in third gear here, and you want to apex here, and walk the driver through that on video. Mm -hmm. And then the student gets in and can c compare. He can take this back to his hotel that night. What did he tell me to do in turn three? And really study it. Right. And come back the next day with, with even more food for thought on how can I improve through this section of track and really work through those things. And, and it's really starting with the basics of video and audio but then you start looking at some of the statistics as well and mm -hmm. okay what did I do and in, in, in this particular spot on the track and, it, and I think it'll really be helpful for the the people that are going to the driving schools as well right no I definitely agree so well Steve thank you so much for uh, showing us the, uh, the the PDR toolbox from Absol Cosworth and uh, we look forward to seeing it uh, this fall yeah, absolutely thanks Keith I All appreciate right. it thank you